coming in hot. Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. Now, this is a continuation of the development of a cone. But with this one, the question has changed a little bit. You have been asked to draw the sectional curve view and the development of its lateral surface. When this cone is cut by an inclined plane at an angle of 45 degrees, 30 millimeters away from the base. So 30 millimeters away from the base is where the cut has been introduced. So you have been asked to draw the sectional curve view. And you are asked to develop it in addition. So let's start. So you need to introduce the cutting plane here at a distance of 30 millimeters. So 30, so that's my 30 millimeters. And then I'll need to extend this to this point. And that's where the cutting plane is going to be at an angle of 45 degrees right let me do it a bit better and yeah, so that's the cutting plane All right so now is being cut the first thing we do is to project all these lines down for the sectional to view so let's start so this point is coming down but this point is from point one so it's coming down to line one i'm going to mark here this point we mark the point this point is from line 12 and 2 so it's coming down to 12 and 2 so that's it here 12 and 2 this one is also coming down. To eleven and three. Now for four and ten, they are already here. So you need to project it to this point. can decide to project it down and measure it or measure it directly they end up with the same thing so i'm going to measure it directly so i'll stand here open to this distance yeah then i'll stand here and it's grab a knock and it's grab a knock so that point becomes point 10 and point 4 now let's move on. So this will also come down. This will come down to 9 and 5. This will also come down. Come down to 6 and 8. And finally, the last one for seven. That's also here. So these are the points you have marked out. I'm going to join them with a smooth curve. Let me do this first. Okay. 
Evet. Evet. So we have this to be the section art of you. So let's section it. So that's the section out of view. Now we have been asked to develop the lateral surface. This one. Right. Now let's see. We are going to project all these lines to this side. All these lines to this side. So this this will come here. This will also come here. This will come here. This is already there. So come here. Come here and find me. Right. So you are going to start market. So we stand here. So this point is equal to this point over here. So we stand here. Pick this distance. Now this distance we are picking. This one. This distance we are picking is a distance from one. So once you come here, you must mark on the one line. You also mark because one is also here again. You mark here. Next, you are picking this distance. So we stand here, open to this. We stand here. That distance is gotten from three. Sorry, 2 and 12. So 2 and 12. Oh, let's, let's just draw set X true. It's all the same thing. You let's draw X true. Let's draw X true. Let's just draw a string. Next, we are picking this distance. Stand here and draw a gap. Come back. I've already picked this, so now we are picking this. This distance. And yeah, and draw this one too. Next, you are picking this distance. And yeah, and draw. Picking this one, then finally you pick this one. Let's add the first one we drew for this one so it becomes. It becomes the same thing. So this is the first one we drew. I'll just continue it. Alright. Now let's number. We know the first one corresponds to one. The following one is two and twelve. Next one is three and eleven. Four and ten five and nine six and seven then finally seven so you are going to mark one is here so one is here another one is also here 
two for here, twelve for this, three for this, eleven for this one, two, four for this, ten for this, five for this, and nine for this. 6 for this and 8 2 for this and finally 7 standing there room. now I'm going to join it with a smooth curve I'll take in this one too. Alright, so that's it.